Ngising Pedia. Hi everyone, how are you? We hope all of you are well. See you again with our channel which will increase your knowledge. After previously we conveyed about the type of SPS or small polyp stony coral. Now we will convey the type of LPS or large polyp stony coral. Stony corals produce a skeleton of calcium carbonate, which then becomes the foundation and building blocks of the coral reefs. The large polyp stony or LPS corals can have complex elegant shapes and fascinating colors. LPS have much larger polyps than the SPS. Here are 30 types of LPS coral that you need to know. 1. Dona Coral Dona coral skeletal structure is not quite round but an irregular oval or circle that is flatter and larger than scolimia. Their septal teeth are strong and blunt. They are not as bubbly or as fleshy as other donut-type species of mussets. They are usually dark red, dark green, or a combination of the two. They can be a solitary polyp or can grow in colonies with one or more centers. 2. Cynarina The Cynarina genus consists of one giant coralite or polyp that has a rounder oval skeletal structure. It has large prominent septal teeth in several different heights, with the tallest teeth being much thicker. The tallest septa is usually visible throughout the Cynarina's translucent flesh which is usually brown but can be green, bright red, pink and several light pastel colors. 3. Scolimia The skeletal structure of the Scolimia genus can be cup-shaped, saucer-shaped, flat or dome-shaped. They have similarities to the Cynarina genus except their septa slope outward are not as pronounced more closely spaced. The septa is spiny around the outer rim and their skeleton is larger denser and heavier than Cynarina. Scolimia corals are usually solitary but can be colonial depending on the species. 4. Blasto corals The skeletal structure of blasto coral starts from a common base and branches upward in a dome shape thus contributing to the name moon coral. It has asymmetrical coralite branches. The polyps of fully developed specimens can reach up to 1 to 5 inch across. The structure and coralite branches are hidden when the polyps are fully expanded. Aquacultured colors can be much more diverse than in nature. The polyps on the Blastomusa welsi are nearly twice as large in diameter as those of Blastomusa merleti. 5. Akin Lord Micromusa lordhounsis, previously known as the Akin lord, is a species of stony coral in the family Lobophilidae. It is a widespread and common coral with large polyps occurring on shallow reefs in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It was originally classified under the genus Acanthistria, and reclassified under the genus Micromusa in 2016. 6. Akin Echinata The Akin Echinata has coralites that have even walls, height-wise, so there is a more uniform appearance to the coral. Inspecting the polyps this coral when not fully expanded reveals that these walls are being shared, thus contributing to the identification. When the polyps retract, due to their fleshy polyps, little folds appear almost like an accordion. 7. Lobed Brain Coral The Lobophilia genus was described by Blainville in 1830. There are 22 nominal species, 7 of which are true species with 5 being found around Australia. 
Two main features of lobophilia corals are that the coralites are not shared with other polyps and each polyp forms curves. Almost like an hourglass shape with a few more curves without closing in the center. This genus of corals can be confused with Symphilia species. 8. Symphilia The Symphilia genus was described by Milne Edwards and Haim in 1848. There are 13 nominal species, 7 of which are true species with 5 being found around Australia. This genus of corals can be confused with Lobophilia species. However, the Symphilia corals can be distinguished by the skeletal structure. They have coralite walls that are joined or fused together rather than separate. 9. Trachy Brain Coral The Trachophilia genus have six nominal species, one or possibly two of which are valid species. They form free-living polyps that have valleys with their own coralite walls. Their septa on the inside of the coralite wall are large and form a ridging look under the flesh. The base of the coral is cone-shaped, giving away its naturally soft substrate habitat. 10. Sun Coral The two Bostraea genus are referred to as non-photosynthetic corals, which means they only survive with foods and lighting has no affect on their growth. There are seven two Bostraea species. The polyps of the sun coral are very fleshy and extend mostly during evening hours though they can be coaxed out during the day if food is present. During the day the coral is completely withdrawn with only the conosteum being visible, making it look like a ball with raised round flat nubs. 11. Turbinaria The Turbinaria genus have 80 nominal species with 10 true species from Australia. There are currently 30 recognized species in this genus. The Turbinaria genus is considered one of a few of the reef-building corals. Turbinaria are also the only genus in this family which symbiosis with a marine algae known as Zoazanthellae, from which they derive some of their nutrients. 12. Elegance Coral The elegance coral has a cone-shaped wedge-like skeletal structure that makes it easy for them to bury into soft substrates. The bottom is pointed, yet the top where the fleshy polyp is located is very wide with pointy thin bone-like divisions called septa. Forms V-shaped valleys. The polyps have long thin tentacles with contrasting tips that can also be bulbous in some specimens. Their fleshy, large oral disc has several mouths over the valley of the septa. 13. Bubble Coral Both the bubble coral sinuosa and the aco bubble coral flexosa come in one colony with large water-filled bubbles. This is a display that is easily recognizable. The branching bubble coral simplex has a similar look as bubble coral sinuosa, except it has individual branches. These little groupings barely touch each other and are separated with quite a bit of space within the colony. 14. Hammer Coral The identification of the hammer coral is determined more so by the shape of the polyp and not necessarily their delicate skeletal structure. They form large colonies with coralite walls forming on the outer edges. The tentacles of the hammer coral have hammer or T-shaped tips. Though it has a straighter and flatter tip than its cousin the anchor coral, whose tips are more C-shaped, there can be curvature in the tip. 15. Fog Spun Coral The tentacles of the frog spun coral have thick, lumpy long polyps that have little tips dotted throughout the length and will branch with some double skeletal heads and single heads. 
The colors of the tentacles can be chocolate brown to tan and green to yellow green with pink, lavender, white or cream tips. When feeding, the individual tentacles can elongate two to three times their normal state. 16. Torch Coral The tentacles of the torch coral are straight with no branching and are generally very long and thin, eliminating the use for sweeper tentacles. The colors of the tentacles can be chocolate brown, gray-blue, or gray-green with cream, green or white tips. When feeding, the individual tentacles can elongate two to three times their normal state. Some colonies can reach over three feet, one meter. 17. Fox Coral The skeleton of the fox coral is wall-like and wafer-thin, which leads to being very delicate and breakable. The polyps fold outward and there are striations in the tissue that radiate from the center out toward the reveled edges almost looking like a flower. This fleshy part of the coral cannot fully retract in the mature specimens due to its large size. Smaller and younger polyps can retract into the structure almost completely. 18. Favites The Favites genus have about 23 nominal species. In the wild, they form colonies that are flat, dome-shaped and massive. The Favites corals have coralites that are serioid or sharing of common walls. This is different from favia corals which do not share walls and so are easier to frag than favites. The colors of the favites corals are similar to the favia genus. 19. Platygyra The Platygyra genus have approximately 26 nominal species, they form huge colonies that are either flat or dome-shaped. The coralite walls twist and turn throughout the coral and share walls. They do not have protruding rounded lobes originating from the septa like the Goniastria genus. They also have rough septal teeth and coralite walls. The coralite walls are also heavier with the valleys being less twisting and wider than Leptoria corals. 20. Candy Cane Coral The candy cane coral is a branching formation coral with the top of each branch having a single or double head, with one or more mouths. This species gets its name from the septa that protrude to just under the flesh of the polyp, giving it a striped appearance that resembles a candy. 21. Plate Coral The plate coral is a free-living polyp whose tentacles are so long, they hide their skeletal structure. They can be mistaken as an anemone at first glance. Their shape can be oval or round. And with or without an arch in the middle, they can get up to 8 inches across, and the mouth can be 1 inch wide. They are found on soft flat substrates, but have also been found on rubble. 22. Cyclosaurus Corals in the genus Cyclosaurus are mostly solitary and free-living, some attaining 10 cm in diameter. The discs are either round or oval and the central mouth, which is surrounded by tentacles, may be a slit. The polyp sits in a calcareous cup, the coralite, and only extends its tentacles to feed at night. 23. Tongue Coral The tongue coral are flat or arched when viewed from the side and can form several shapes. They can be shaped like a tongue, a boomerang, or a T, X, or Y shape. The tongue coral Herpolytha limax can be distinguished from the polyphilia corals because they don't have the deep and prominent central groove down the middle like the Herpolytha genus does. 
Rather, they do have a small indentation or furrow that runs down the center. They also have many more tentacles. 24. Galaxia Coral The Galaxia genus have around 24 nominal species, they are massive with mostly columnar or encrusting forms, but shapes that include spires and branches are also sometimes found. The outer tentacles extending from each coralite tend to be clear or translucent, becoming more opaque toward the center. Their lightweight skeleton consists of groupings of branching tubular coralites connected together by tiny little bumpy plates. 25. Alveopora The Alveopora genus have 27 nominal species. The Alveopora species form massive, round or branching skeletal formations, which are lightweight and porous. The tentacles can have the contrasting color of the oral discs give it that daisy appearance. Alveopora corals have 12 tentacle tips and their coralites have 12 septa. Unlike Ganiopora which have 24 each. The tentacles are also shorter and smaller than on the Ganiopora species. 26. Ganiopora The Ganiopora genus have 39 nominal species. The Ganiopora species can form massive or columnar formations, which are lightweight and porous. Ganiopora corals have 24 tentacle tips and their coralites have 24 septa. Their appearance is similar to Alveopora, yet the Alveopora have only 12 polyps each. The polyps Ganiopora corals are also larger than Alveopora corals. 27. Chalice Coral The Chalice Coral or Echinopora genus have approximately 30 nominal species. They have a lot of variation in their growth pattern, even within the same area of the reef. All species are large and encrusting, they can develop branches or plates, or have both in the same colony. The coralites have separate walls within the colony. The septa are irregular and protrude, making for a little rougher look. 28. Cyphastria The Cyphastria genus have approximately 26 nominal species, about 8 of which are valid species. The Cyphastria genus form massive colonies that are large and encrusting. With just a few species like Cyphastria decadia, that form tree-like branches. The coralites all have separate walls within the colony. Their very centers are less than 3 mm in diameter making them easier to identify. 29. Leptastria The Leptastria genus form massive colonies that are large and encrusting. They satisfy the majority of its nutritional requirements by means of photosynthetic symbiotic zooxanthellae algae hosted within its body. However, it will benefit from supplemental feedings of meaty food items in the evening while its tentacles are visible. 30. Duncan Coral The Duncan Coral has large polyps that possess a wide, flat, circular disc that is usually light brown or green in color, and is usually patterned by faint stripes or darker or lighter color. The tentacles have rows of stinging cells called nematocysts, and generally produce a sticky sensation when touched. An individual polyp resembles a miniature sea anemone. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video please subscribe our channel. Stay tuned for our next videos.